Oh, good morning, guys. Man, yeah, I was gonna be in the um, I was gonna be in the uh, the AL section on Twitch. There's like one viewer there, bro. That shit is dead. Oh my god. Like I'm better off being in the uh, just chatting section because the Azure Lane section is fucking dead, bro. Oh my god. Man, that's funny. Holy. I'm gonna grab this one. It doesn't really matter too much. What up, Valen? You're funny, dude. If it's April Fool's, they wouldn't make a whole like thingy about it, about um, about removing it. Like I, I kind of thought it was April Fool's as well too, but at the same time, it's like they like they made a whole like tweet about it saying like they're they're gonna delete it or whatever. Like if if it was April Fool's, they wouldn't have said anything about that. They would just been like, "Hi, oh, just kidding, guys," or whatever. Alright, I'm out of ships, bro. Like, holy. I got nothing to use anymore. Oh my god. I'm just gonna use Vert, bro. Fuck it. I legit have no ships left anymore. Store recordings, I have no idea. They take the Iron Blood cover. Oh, yeah, they did. Um, I didn't see what she looks like though, but I did see that they announced a uh, the new ship or whatever. Or I heard about it at least. I didn't like what you would call it about it. That was too funny, dude. She's out. I'll look at it later. Um, Got her stuff on the right now. Like streaming. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll look at it later or something. Where's the other ship at? Oh, Herbert. Alright, let's see. What do I need for gear right now? Because I'm trying not to die. After all these years, man, I'm using Vert. Holy, it's been way too long now. Made a free scam, be fine, but her default. I mean, maybe it was April Fools, man. Like it could have been, but at the same time, it's like, why would you like put yourself in that like scenario? So yeah, like they put themselves in a scenario where it's like, well, shit. A lot of people hate this or whatever. Like they they know people are gonna hate this ship, or some people are gonna. I don't know. Even if it was April Fools. Like you could do you can do a better April Fools, man. Like last year they had they showed that like mecha suit uh commander or whatever. Like just do that. Like th just because like just because it's April Fools doesn't mean you had to be like, ha gotcha. Or whatever. If you can just do something like that, I'll be great April Fools. What up A M is it A M I would not pronounce that. What up dude? Bikini stream now? Hell no. Nice try though. I didn't see anything about uh, from you since the event. What was your take on Anson? I I made the I made the video like an hour ago. Go you can go watch it if you want. But essentially, like I don't care too much about the new shows because to me, like this, right? Now here, here's one thing about this kind of mindset. It, it's, it's a bad thing and a good thing. It's a bad thing because you're very like. My mindset is, if it's not ultra rare, I don't care about the ship. Now, this is actually a good thing and a bad thing because it's a bad thing in the sense that 
I'm not open to looking at other ships most of the time because I'm all meta gamer or whatever. It's a good thing in the sense that if they they if they want to release like some like cunny ship that people really hate, I don't care. I'm just gonna max them out and then just toss them into my dock space for the rest of their life. Like I don't care, right? So it's a good thing and a bad thing. In this scenario, it's a good thing because I don't care whether they do like whatever whatever Anson's design is. I don't care about it because. I'm just gonna max them out and forget about them, like always. So, yeah. Is I am Lime? What's Lime? I don't remember. I'm sorry, man. I'm a terrible streamer. Do you remember the a rave dance theme? I love the intro. I'll listen to it. A rave theme? What rave theme? I don't know about any rave themes. Man, that protein shake kicking my ass right now, man. I should have drink it. But at the same time, I kind of want to drink it. Alright, I'm going to find a song to jam to. Um, where are my earphones? Not earphones, my uh, AirPods. Oh, right, it's in my uh, thing on top. I remember that banger tune. What banger tune? How does, how do people know this song? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Like I have no clue. What if this uh, happens to Yamato? Oh, Yamato's a cunny, bro. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. If that does happen, though, that'd be hilarious. It could happen though. I caught you a DJ. Oh, uh, I don't know. That was probably a long while back. I don't remember though. Twenty twenty April Fools. Oh yeah, that was fine. Like their past April Fools have been fine. Like they didn't have to do this one, so that's why I don't think it's going. That's real. Like I, I thought it's, they're actually going to release Anson the way she did or she is because they're like, um, they're like adamant about it or whatever. Right, how much are sunfires right now? They are pretty expensive. I'm gonna go farm some. April 1st? I don't think it's that big of a deal. But hey. Who am I to say? Can I use the bank yet? Probably can. Are the April Fools? I mean, I'm, all I'm saying is like they have the audacity to do that. That's crazy. Like, you didn't have to make a cunny shit, man, but they did. So they reaped the consequences for doing that. What up, Astral? Um, I'm gonna 
take some of these with me. You know, I don't really need it though. Hey, what's that? Holy break here. Play a song? Maybe. Maybe later. What up, Castle? What up, Liquor? I need to focus on my grind right now. There's a crime design to begin with. Again, I know why people hate it. Like, don't get me wrong. I think so. Like, I think, I, I, which I find weird because I, th I, I want to say like Blue Archive and Azure Lane shared a, a similar player base, but again, like Azure Lane's like booba stuff, and you have Blue Archive that's like, well, it's not like cunny, but like it's like borderline that kind of stuff, which I think is fucking hilarious. So yeah, I think they have like the same like player base or whatever, but apparently not. I think it's a lot of drama for ships. Dude, uh, manji has been on fire this week, man. They're farming drama in a game that's not even out yet, and a game that's already out. Azure Lane and Azure Premier are both on hot spots right now. This is hilarious to me. Like, absolutely hilarious. What's the drama Promelia? So they, they already addressed it, but basically some people were very scared. I guess like the Chinese player base were scared that it was going to be, um, it was good. There's going to be, uh, uh, male characters in it. Like r people really don't want male characters in their like Azure games. So yeah. You know, here's one for, uh, here's a frame for you. Sorry, do a little Kashino. Dude, Kashino caused drama as well, too. You guys remember, like, what was it, six months ago? Kashino had drama when girls like, big titties or whatever? That was hilarious. So, yeah. <laughs> like, dude, at least, like, once a year, there's always some kind of drama with some kind of shit, bro. It's hilarious. Last year, it was Kashino. This year, it's Anson. Too funny, dude. Why is that guy that hit so hard, dude? Oh, there's a lot of new people joining now. The moment you plug in your Discord, bro, everyone just joins. That shit is hilarious. Club Penguin! <laughs> No, they address it. They're, there's not gonna be guys in there. Like, not even NPCs are gonna be guys. So, people are fine. I need more jams, bro. All my jams been mid lately. Our NPCs, yeah, no. 
Which I think is uh funny because didn't they, didn't they make it so you're allowed to pick a male character as a starter as well too? So does it, does that mean the protagonist is gonna be only female? That'd be so fucked, dude. Like I'm gonna pick a male character probably. Actually, I don't even know anymore. I picked Lumini for Genshin, so I'm not sure. I think I pick I think I pick female stars for for all my open world gotchas so far. Like why the fuck would I pick male, right? I was gonna pick male at first because uh. I thought the blue design was like kind of weird, but, or uh, the, the female, I mean, not the blue. I mean, they, they both have blue hair though, but yeah. Or what are these hits, Brent? It's Asian Asmin Girl, that's right, baby. I'm a drama YouTuber now, guys. Are you guys happy? I'm making it. I'm not even gonna lie, like, the last maybe four videos I made, aside from the uh, the meta fight one, like, I've been having fun on YouTube. Like, when I don't have to cover things about, like, the game and about Azure Land, I have to make drama videos. Holy crap, that is so fun. I don't even know why it's so fun, but it's great. <laughs> that, shit, that shit is so fun, dude. It's like, oh no, people are so mad. Let me just address this problem and make it even worse for the pro scenario, honestly. Like, I'm telling him just to make the drama even worse, just for the purpose of making more content. It's just hilarious to me. I feel uh, move to Hoyo games. Yeah, because drama farming is so great. Yeah, true. Has Dr. Who's Dr. Osoti? Is that a YouTuber? I don't know most of the YouTubers uh, in, this, in this game, so I can't tell you. The Weathering Waves, what do you think about it? Um... I think someone in my Discord told me to go play because they had a content creator program, but I was like two weeks late. Plus, I don't think I'm gonna play it that much because I start working like next week, so I can't really like um, stream it that much or make content to begin with because I gotta play the game, right? If I have like an hour to play the game a day, I'm not gonna make content for that kind of game because I'm just gonna be so far behind. Which is gonna suck because when AP comes out, Azure Promelia, like, I'm not gonna have time to play it that much, I don't think. Also, it comes out like four years later, and I'm like a. I'm like an executive at my workplace or whatever, then probably, yeah. But if it's like, uh, in the next year or so, probably not. Streaming Coliseum? Yeah, man, I am. How far are you gone? Uh, not far. I'm just finding Wave 1. I kinda do wanna push it, cause, um. You can make some big money if you push pretty far in Colosseum. I just don't know when they're going to start dropping, like, say, like, the armor or the glaive and stuff like that. Because I want to farm those items. Like, the glaive and the armor, I want to farm for them and sell them. But I don't know when they drop, though. Otherwise, I would, pr I would probably try to learn how to do the waves or whatever. But as of right now, I'm just farming, like, the easy money. Because it's, like, 12. It's, like, 1,300 a piece right now. That's a lot. So, yeah. As of right now, I fucking hate the melee guy. I got hit so damn hard. Uh, Lord NPC, the guy who made Ar who made the Arbiters. Uh, wait, he made Arbiters? Uh, the fuck that guy. Oh, well, tell that guy to make more Arbiters, actually, because I'm tired of farming the same one over and over again. So if they announce a new game, does that mean actually has its days counted? I mean, the days are already has been counted, right? I kind of want to push. Uh, I'm just gonna take it. I think it's not worth me taking that, even if it's like a little bit more. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Like Azure Lane may not be dead in like the Asian servers or whatever, but it feels really dead in Ian as of right now. Like a lot of people haven't been playing it as much. Like you can notice like the big view count being dropped as of right now on my YouTube channel because like okay I have been slacking on YouTube videos because I haven't been like having the quality for it, but like. Look at So Used Event, right? That's supposed to be a UR event. That shit got like no, almost no reception at all. Like no one, no one gives a fuck about it. So, like I think some people just don't are, like are really really tired of the game as of right now. Like it's in a really stale state. So having like AP come out is like a breath of fresh air, honestly. Because like for me in particular, I'm tired of playing Azure Lane, making just Azure Lane videos, bro. Like I tried multiple times with other games, but like they don't either I, they either don't stick to me, or pe no one watches them. Right now, I will say it's my fault because I'm not consistent in uploading the videos as much for those other games. 
but they, they just don't farm as much when you have like other youtubers like doing videos for that kind of stuff like power world and stuff like that like it doesn't work out but if it's ap though i i know for a fact that for eight when ap comes out it's gonna have the backing of the azure lane community right and i'm like azure lane is like my proficiency like that's where my channel is basically at so this would be the, the obvious smart move for me to do is to move or have like a have like ap as like one of my youtube games like that'd be great for me right like this is why i kept asking for like two years like when is manju gonna release another fucking game already because i want to keep like making other videos or whatever so like for other games that doesn't work for me but for this for for ap it makes sense because a lot of the Azure Lane players are going to play that game. Therefore, it will make sense that I play the game and make videos for it because it's going to work. Right? Uh, I like how they removed the ship and replaced it with some random... <laughs> yeah! They, they replaced it with some uh, KM KMS ship or whatever. It's like, it's not April Fool's, guys. They fucked up there. They know they fucked up there. But the same people who said, uh... Same stuff about Tower Fantasy. It turned out to be Weathering Waves, the Genshin Killer. Tower of Fantasy was pretty fun, but the the publishers or whatever fucked up, cause during one of the banners or whatever, I got upset and I quit. There's there's obviously power creep, but um, they fucked up one of the banners and I quit because of that. I didn't get to use my, I never got to use my red spheres in that game, cause <laughs> I don't know, man. This shit is fucking pep W. Alright, um, you know what can boost engagement? A freaking bikini stream? Not happening. God, I hate the melee guy. I got hit so fucking hard. Are you gonna try weathering waves? Probably not. Um, I was kinda gonna, I was kinda gonna do it at first, like a month ago, but I was late for the content creator program, so I was like, eh, whatever. I was gonna do it because, like, I need some fucking game at this point. I was bored as fuck. But then, uh, that changed because... Uh, I've been applying to jobs for the past like two, two or three months, and I got an interview like a month ago, and uh, I got the job. So once I start working, I'm gonna have like no free time at all, at all. So like, as of right now, I only play like RuneScape and Azure Lane, and that's pretty much it. Like a couple like Pokemon games or whatever as well, but those aren't like permanent games; they're just like temporary games. So whenever I start working, which is gonna be next week, it's. I'm gonna have no time at all, so even if I wanna play Weathering Waves or whatever, like it's not gonna happen. Like I don't I don't like open world games that much at all. Um the only open world game I gave like a lot of attention to was Pal World because it had the Pokemon aspect to it, and even then it was like Once I got to end game or whatever, I got so fucking bored. I was like, holy shit, bro. <laughs> Why people like is it going? Oh, I was going down kind of. Um, I guess it's still kind of profitable, whatever. Whatever, I'm just gonna bank this or whatever. Um, yeah, I think I might run to the G real quick. Wow, someone, oh, that's a lot big. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to G real quick. But yeah, probably not though, because I don't have time. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. We're gonna up this prize. If you mentioned it, but I hear that they removed or answer completely. Yeah, they 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 took her out and added a KMS ship, which is funny. But yeah.
Honestly, like, I'm down to just make drama videos for the next, like, couple weeks or, or a couple days or whatever. I think I gotta make account. Damn it, dude. I still got account reviews to do, dog. Oh, my God. I think some people forgot about account reviews. Oh, my God. Dude, damn it, man. I'm gonna have, like, no time for account reviews now at all. Oh, my God. Like, I don't want to, like, mess with that shit, bro. I think I made it so, like, people can update their accounts whenever possible, but I think some people forgot about it as well, too. It's just, like, account reviews, like, here and there, whatever. Oh, man. I kind of regret adding, uh, making account reviews come back, but at the same time, like, I was so happy about my accomplishment on RuneScape that, I, I, like, I added it back or whatever. Is this an AP? It's not. It should come out, though, giving beta access, but... You know, I'm low-key, I'm low like, I'm, I'm low-key hoping Yostar doesn't publish uh, AP. Uh, but they might do it, though. But, but I'm hoping they don't, because, um... <laughs> if they do publish it, I don't know if I'm gonna get access to the beta. I mean, I could, but... There, there's that off chance that I might not get access to the closed beta if I ask for it. But yeah. I'm hoping Adrelene doesn't, um... Or Yostar doesn't publish it. But we'll see, though. I hope not, but we'll see. Here we are on Gear Laws, range 13. Well, I think I have videos about 13 priorities. Always backline ships first. I don't think much of that has changed. But I guess there's new gear now. But it shouldn't change too much. Like I don't think there's like any mainstream gear that's important to up the 13 these days. Because part because you don't have place, that's why. So you gotta be very careful about how you use that kind of stuff. Do battleship guns or carrier planes first? They're spending some cubes of her 15 project? No. Uh, wait, cubes? The fuck? What research are you doing for that costs cubes to get gear prints? What the fuck? What are you doing, my man? Oh god, I'm gonna die, man. This melee got hit so hard and I hate it. That guy better not hit me, this motherfucker. Okay. I should use Void Waker, bro. Oh my god. What is this? What is this damage, man? Yeah, I should use Void Waker. Uh, it has been revealed. It has. I'll look at it later, but I don't really care too much again, honestly. to kill that guy. You fucked idiot. Was not good. No one people don't like cunny man. Here, here's what, here's essentially what happened. So Manju knew that 
Blue Archive was getting an anime and they were gonna reveal the sensei of Blue Archive, which is gonna be some guy with like funky sleepy hair or whatever. So they know that sensei was gonna be trending on Twitter, so they're like, you know what, let's just start a drama. So they're like, let's say right now we're gonna make Anson a cunny. So now, uh, Azure Lane is uh, competing with uh, Blue Archive now to farm drama. Or not farm drama, to farm like attention. But I think like Blue Archive fan base is like way too big as of right now, so good luck with that. All right, what the? F um, where's my damage, bro? I'm just gonna sell. I'm just gonna undersell, bro. I'm just fucking tired of all this shit. Actually, no, might be going up. I'll keep farming here. Is I LGBTQ people stay mad? What up, X Men? Thank you for the 14 months, my man. Before you give, uh, before you said they give Oath Dress, uh, what competition winner I wonder what server? Oh, apparently not. I think they're just getting plushies or whatever. Um, I know last year's or whatever, or like, yeah, last year's. Not like, not like, like last year, last year, but like the recent one last year. They said that the winner wasn't gonna get an Oath skin. So I thought it was gonna be an Oath skin, but not this one, apparently. But usually they get Oath skins though if they win a competition, but not this one. So it's probably just plushie or whatever. Uh, elf skin. I'm down for an Uzi and Elf skin, but uh, we'll have to see. I don't think Shinano ever got one, right? Honestly, I think Shinano will probably get one first. But yeah. Alright, I think I just have to sell at whatever price. Fuck. I fucking hate it. How come the legs are going up, but not the body? Are you guys idiots? I think, uh, oh yes, swear to God. I'm playing with a bunch of idiots here, dude. It's not even profitable. What the fuck are you guys doing? I'll put it at that price. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. Why don't you guys say Anna Girl? True! <laughs> what do you take on as many, uh, let me suppose of HMS Sunfish? What's Sunfish? Like, I don't care about what Anson looks like, honestly. Like, if it's a normal girl or a like, cunny, I don't really care too much. I mean, if it's a normal girl, that's fine, but... At the end of the day, like, I'll be like, Oh, that girl, that, that shit looks cool, and I forget about them, because like, once I'm maxing out, I'm like, I don't give a shit anymore, dude. Like, most of the ships that stick in my mind are the good ships in the game. Like, unfortunately, that's just how it is. Like, this is why, like, other gacha games are so successful in my eyes when it comes to characters. Because you gotta look at it like this, guys. Like, some people play the game for gacha, some people play it for, like, just art design or whatever, right? So think of it this way. A lot of games have, like, all kinds of, like, styles of combat. Like, PvP, um, like, story pushing, event farming, bossing, raiding, uh, extended prolonged fights, stuff like that. These kind of games have scenarios where you need multiple like characters that are good for that specific content, right? Now, look at this. If we look at Blue Archive for next, as an example, because a lot of people play Blue Archive. In Blue Archive, oh fuck, I might die here. Um, you have like characters that are good at like light armor, medium armor, heavy armor, and there's like specific like raid content, campaign pushing, event farming, PvP, and stuff like that, right? These characters. <clears throat> um, the, there's multiple types of characters, and you need fit. You need characters that fit these kind of roles to be good at it. So when when you have all these kind of content, let's say there's like thirty or forty available spots to be best in slot when it comes to these kind of content or whatever, right? Now in Blue Archive, you have characters that are good, and some characters are bad. Now the thing is, the difference here is that you'll have characters that are bad on the, at the start. Like their base version is garbage, right? But then they add like a seasonal variant. This is like the, this is the Grand Blue Fantasy effect right here. Like you'll have a character like so let's say like basic Gion, or basic like I don't know uh, basic Sandalfon, 
which is complete dog shit. And then they'll release like a summer version or like a Halloween version or like some kind of swimsuit version or some shit, right? That's OP as fuck. Now this OP version or whatever, people will remember this character because that character is OP, right? Therefore, if that character is OP, it'll become more relevant. And we have characters with multiple like seasonal variants or like limited variants of, the, of that character. That the initial character is gonna be mem- is gonna be memorable to like that player. So therefore, that character stays relevant. In Azure Lane's case, you release a character, that character sucks dick at everything they do, they're not going to be memorized at all. So these kind of characters are like, they're just going to be forgettable. And going back to what I was saying about Ansem or whatever, like, if, unless Ansem is like some godly, like, Helena type of shit, no one's going to remember that character at all. Like, no one's going to remember her. Like, the fact that it's been like four years now, and we're still using the same old ships over and over and over again, and it's still clear as content, that makes no sense to me. Like, people still remember Nagato because, like, once a year or whatever, she's, like, good at a specific content. Like, the, the current meta fight, me- Nagato's good there because of her reload buff. And so what I was, like, le- going back to what I was saying, like, it, it doesn't matter what the character design is. She's going to be forgettable. Like, if you go back to tell people, like, hey, guys, how was a ship in this game? How many people, like, without thinking for, like, a split second... Remembers who How is. Stuff like that, right? Like, you have to have, like, if you want, like, these ca- characters, King George, Prince of Wales, these characters to stay relevant, they have to be good. I'm sorry, they, they have to be good to be relevant. Or you make some. Oh, well, fuck, I might be fucking dead. Oh, God. Oh, God, don't kill me, little bitch. I swear to God, if this bitch kills me, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. Oh, my God, it almost killed me, dude. Yeah, because it's not that I want these characters to become meta. It's the fact that meta characters are going to be more popular for the most part. Like, that's just straight facts. Like, there's very, very rare cases where a ship isn't meta that's very popular. Like, Otago, Taiho, Cleveland. These characters aren't meta, but they're very, very popular. Now, how many, like, what? that's like, what, five, ten ships? Out of like 600? Like you guys gotta do better than that man. I'm sorry. Like you have you have to make it so most of your, your character pool is popular. Otherwise people are gonna forget about these characters. St. Louis. St. Louis is popular because of the skin. Like it, it, it blows my mind. Like, I'll show you guys a good example. Like, HMS has, like, Sila, um, Dido, Sirius. Now, these are all popular characters, right? But then I go on Twitter, and I see, like, 10, like, 10 Korean cosplayers cosplay fucking Implacable. Like, like, out of fucking nowhere, Implacable. Like, you have all these HMS choices, but you choose Implacable. Why is that? Like, I'm not saying Implacable is not, is not popular, because she is popular. But, like, th- there's so many choices. So, why do they pick Implacable? Because she's ultra rare. That's why. Alright, I've got lower prices, bro. I'm, I'm fucking tired of getting undercut every damn time. No, Enterprise is meta. Kashina's meta in, in EX mode, but that's for, like, esports players. Essex isn't meta. She's a meme, but she is popular, though. So, that's correct. Are they really? SX or uh, Enterprise can be pretty good in certain boss fights. She is really good, yeah. Same has got hella boosted because of the car skin. That's true. That is very, very true. I'll speak to you on Discord server. Back to Grand Angle. Alright, see you, X-Men. 
the style and mustache. I think that might be another reason as to why people don't like Anson as well too. So that's yeah. And there might have been an internal communication in the wrong name design was revealed. Maybe. I mean that could possibly be a thing. Yeah, that's true. I once King George class uh, forming bowl and uh, shifts to a URI cause they deserve it. True, forming is pretty popular. Yeah, forgot about her, but she is popular. That is correct. Man, oh, why does the body crash and not the fucking legs? Oh fuck! I gotta do a fight. I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna be so mad if I die here, bro. That's like negative 400k to my what you wanna call it. That pitch always popular, it's true. It's very, very true. But yeah, honestly, if I was them, like in the, in one of their poster, they're like, we still work hard on Azure lane or whatever. Like, I'm gonna be really, really honest with you guys. Honestly, I think they worked harder the first two or three years of the game than in the last two years or whatever. Like it's it's not that difficult to uh, make an event. It's difficult to get people to voice act and people to make art for the character. Yeah, but for the most part though, it's like it, it's not that. It, it's yeah. Like they, have, they the, I guess the quality of life has been like updated as well too. But for the most part though, like they got changed up the fucking game or whatever, man. But if I was them, honestly, I would just work on Azure, Promelia, and make it like a god tier game. If I was them. Like, I know some people are, like, weary about, like, them putting all the resources in AP. Honestly, dude, speaking from, like, experience. Not experience, but from, like, playing this game for so fucking many years now. Um, they should just fucking do it, honestly. Like, just put all your resources in AP and hope it just skyrockets or whatever. Bro, I need new music, man. I'm tired of listening to like the same old jams over and over and over again. Alright, I gotta go to G. Alright, we gotta make- Okay, we really gotta make money now, because this shit is crashing now. Oh, great! It, well, of course, when I ever want to sell it, it, it crashes, bro. Great. All right, what's cheaper? Chest plate or um, tassets? Uh, 2.55 per piece. This is, um, oh, chest plate is so cheaper. That's funny. All right, let's buy chest plate then. I'll buy uh, two. That's, uh, the, the day chest plate gets cheaper than the tasset. That's funny to me. Um, let's do, let's do that. Okay. If AP takes all resources, happens, that thing's child, I mean, shut down, Shifko can focus on EK. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to bash on Azure Lane, but holy fuck, man. Like, if, if it's been so stale the last couple years. Like, they're not, like... They, they had the, the biggest update ever when in terms of OS, which was like four years ago. And like, they haven't even touched it since then. They added like two bosses or what? Like they had three bosses and that's basically it. Like they're not doing anything. Like campaign, like you can't say campaign is adding something to the game. It's not. Like they're not doing anything. Like challenge them or whatever. Okay, whatever, bro. It's like a five minute content or whatever the fuck. Like they're not doing anything. 
at least with the at least with Azure Promelia, they're not limited to like using characters based off like historical shit. Now they can just make shit up. They can say they can say like Chamarly Chim or whatever the fuck, and like call it a character. Whereas like Azure, they had to be like, oh, hey, we gotta make another like whatever the fuck class ship or whatever the fuck. So yeah. Like I think anyone that's been watching me for a long time now know I like no know, knows that like I talk about this game a lot in terms of like they gotta fucking change shit up. It's been the same old shit for so many years now. They're not doing anything to change things up. Oh fuck, I bought a Naiho horn. Uh, how much profit is that in it anyways? Oh fuck, I'm getting hit right now. <laughs> Let me see. Um I guess no, that's there's profit there, yeah. Okay. You forgot to mention Hood. Hood's my first wife. Hood is like not as popular. She's a very old ship. Like again, like using my using the last ultra rare event as an example. Like I don't know about you guys, but Soyuz event was not that popular. Like if I if I go back right now, right, we're gonna look at my we're gonna look the, we're gonna look at the history of my channel. Like I use I use my channel as a good representation of like how popular game is going on as of right now. We go to Soyuz event. All right, check this out, boys. Where's uh, where's my screen crap at? Is this it? This might be it. Okay, yeah. There's that voice. Right. So use event. My my most popular view was the gotcha. It was the gotcha. The this the, the this video right here that tells you like is it worth farming most of the time gets 10k. It didn't even break 8k views this time, not even 8k. The showcase it normal, a little bit low but normal. Is it worth pulling? 8.2k. 8.2k. These videos right here usually gets 10k. We go back to history, right? Guam and Laffy too. 15k for Laffy 2 and Guam. Is it worth farming for 12k? Ships, 16k. We go back further. Let's go to the last event. It was Unzen's, right? Unzen's event. Is it worth farming? 11k. Showcase, 15k. Wow, that's actually a lot. Um, is it worth pulling? 16k. We'll go back even further. This one should be uh, Bismarck 2. I think, or is that, what was it before? No, it was, uh, yeah, Bismarck 2, I think. All right, Bismarck 2. Pulling for Bismarck 2, 15K. Is it worth farming for 15K? Showcase 17K, oh my God, that's huge. Is it worth farming for 22K? You look at these numbers and then you look at Soyuz numbers. What happened here? Like Soyuz numbers are not big. They're very, very small, and this is a, this was a ship that's been like very, very anticipated for a very long time in the community. So, like, why are these numbers so low? It's because somewhere after Guam's event or whatever, like the player base just went whoosh, like they don't care anymore. So, like, they have to do something to fix that. Otherwise, like, you're gonna be in this endless cycle of like trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Like, the, ne the next UR event has to be big. Otherwise, like, skull emoji, boys. Like, I'm not even capping right here. Like, it's actually going to be skull emoji. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll put this in here. Um, oh, I have one ACB. That's so lucky. Oh, that's for my other thing. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. All right, we'll put this in here. Four, three, five. I'm gonna do that. That's decent profits, I guess. Like, what's the ACB price right now? 
It's like two mil. I'll take it, honestly. It's not that bad. Assuming it sells at this price, it's not that bad. I think they had anticipation. No idea. Cap in a half. You are capping. I have this. Uh, have wait. Have you dared to write what? Moff, what are you talking about, my brother? I have no idea what you're talking about, my man. All right, we need to buy some uh, shards. I can buy an ACB as well too. All right, how much are Naiho shards going for right now? Nihil shards. Ooh, that's expensive, bro. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. You guys are seeing this right now. Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> Don't look at that. That's my, that's my uh, flipping stuff. Most people who will be high from Musashi and uh, other important you are compared to someone like Ulrich. It is, but like Soyuz is like an anticipated ship, right? Like no one here is going to tell me that like Soyuz is not popular in the community. Like a lot of people are looking forward to Soyuz. So it's like, because they sheltered like what, three years ago or four years ago, right? So people are going to like look forward to this ship. So yeah. Would you want actually gameplay change more different and harder and prefer still auto? I don't mind the auto, I just want different content. I want to use other characters, other ships or whatever, right? I don't want to use the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, but when you make content that's like 60, like 80 second combat, bit you gotta meet damage thresholds, like what the fuck can you do? Like a lot of the character like a lot of the content design in this game forces you to use these specific characters because they are the ones that work. Like that's bad design by default. Like that's why I said the recent meta design is bad. Cause no matter what fleet you see for the for the current meta fight on auto, everyone is still using Shinano and maybe Haku Ryu. Like, hey guys, here's my fleet. It's very original. No, it's not using Shinano and Haku Ryu again. Like, everyone's using the exact same, like, similar backline and Vanguard setup for this meta fight. Like, that's bad. That's bad uh, game design. The bone. I mean, there's a lot of auto games that are, like, popular too. Like, there's skip games as well too. Like, it's not just, like, combat or whatever, but, like... There's a lot of boring ass games too. It's just like this game is like it's not it's not one that like clings on for a long time because um it doesn't have like the the backbone for it or whatever. Oh fuck, man. All right, do I bite the bullet here in this undercut? No, I'm not going to do it. Splinters are dropping right now. Fuck. I think we're fine. There's a problem over there. Alright, let's go back to farming. That's how Manifest work in gacha games. You see them everywhere all the time, it's boring as fuck. Yeah, but the thing is like, Grand Blue Fantasy, you gotta make six different teams, each different elements, three characters per team. That's like, that's 18 meta characters right there. And then you look at Blue Archive, you, you see three types of armor content. There's specific different kind of content, like raids and stuff as well too. And every character has like a seasonal variant as well too, that's like somewhat relevant, like there's an upgrade or like, like for example, um, like you're gonna have someone who's like Summer Hoshino, and then they make a better version of it. Does that make Summer Hoshino garbage? No, she's still good. 
But like, she's still gonna be memorable because you use her, use her for so long, right? But then you have characters that like instantly comes down as your lane. Like no one gives a fuck about these characters at all. Like that's bad. Like you you release event or whatever, right? Like a UR event. Automatically, like by default, like the elites are garbage. Like you're not even gonna tell me like the elites are good because they're not. And then you have some SSRs that are like kind of shit too. Unless it's like a Vanguard, what it's like, oh, it's good for campaign or whatever. Don't give a fuck about campaign, dog. Like the fact that like a an elite ship by default is bad is bad, like bad character design. Like you look at any other gacha game, they they sh they like show a character. Oh, this, I wonder what this character is gonna be. It might be pretty good or whatever. But then you see like Azure Lane, they release an elite ship. Oh, this elite ship is garbage. Bad stats, it's, like it, it's automatically garbage. Like no one is gonna sit there and be like, oh, I hope this elite ship is very very good. It's not. It's not. Like, I, I, I will sit there. I will 100% confidently. I, I, I will bet a thousand million dollars that this elite ship is not going to be good the moment they release it. And it's been a case for many, many years now. Like, why do they, like, try to, like, add the elite to begin with? Like, why not make the default as of right now uh, SSRs and higher for rarity ships? Oh, fuck. I'm fucking dying, bro. <laughs> Like, you can still somewhat say uh, you can like a ship and they're good because they're SSR. Like, I know for a fact when it's an SSR ship, I'll buy the skins if it's very, very good. But if it's an elite ship, I'm not going to buy a skin. The only elite ship I bought a skin for was the, um, oh god, I forgot her name. Oh my god, like, I haven't used a ship for, uh, damn it, what's her fuck? Is, the, uh, is that HMS Carrier? I forgot her name. God damn it, bro our name oh my god like that, that's how much i care about elite ships guys i forgot about our name i bought that skin too i was like oh this skin is so hot i forgot about it. <laughs> it's the hms carrier I forgot her name oh my god it's the blonde one it's the blonde hms carrier I forgot her name i was actually i love it you have talking between two chats right now i love it i think her name begins with an a but i'm not exactly sure Oh, uh, not even Hayes just decided to do things a dumb way. You don't know it's at first, but the more you play, you realize, yup, it's true. In my eyes, if you're a player of any game for a long period of time, you're basically an extended QA tester. Like, if you guys really, really think about it, as a player, as a gamer, if you play a video game, you're basically being a QA tester for free. And if you play a game for say five years, you're you're basically a, a full time QA tester for that game. It is is it is true. Not not LB. I'll I'll look it up real quick. Oh, I'm gonna die. All right. Um. What was it? HMS Elite. It was, um, glorious. This is the only elite skin ever bought. Only elite skin ever bought because it's just that good. Otherwise, I never buy elite skins because the moment I see an elite ship, I think they're garbage and I'm not going to buy it. This was the only exception. So, yeah. So, like, they got to make it so it's default to just SSRs, bro. Otherwise, like, people are going to forget. Like, even I forgot about Glorious just now. Until I just, I looked at my inventory. Bro, several Elite skins? You're a rare one. I know for a fact a lot of the people in my Discord, like, if they see an Elite ship, they're not going to buy a skin for it, even though it looks good. So, yeah. Like what? What's the what's what's gonna be hurt if they say if they say like we're gonna make an uh, this ship uh, SSR? Like that's fine. Just make it SSR. 
Like nowadays, SSR ships have like a coin flip, whether they're good or not, and they stay meta because there's so many UR ships now. Like just do it, bro. Who gives a fuck? Let's make every ship SSR. His name is Koi. Like, Koi is a rare one. That guy has money to throw around. Okay, why you guys, why you guys talking about FGO here? What the fuck? Uh, I just noticed the YouTube chat talking about uh, FGO. I was like complaining for like 10 minutes right now. It's like meta mentality. It does, but like... It helps if a ship is SSR at least minimum. Games like Azure, just wait for Azure Promelia, bro. I have full faith in Azure Promelia. I will, I will ship that game until the day I die. Just don't suck, please. I swear to God. If it's like decently popular, I'll be happy with it. Oh my God, bro. I'm just tired of making Azure lane fucking videos all the damn time. Like I, I feel like there, there. I see so many YouTubers and streamers. They just they play like RuneScape or World of Warcraft for like many, many years. But the, the difference is that their game is like popular. Azure Lane is not that popular. I, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. It's popular for Gacha game, yeah, but it's not that that popular. But for but for a Gacha game, it's pretty popular. But it's not like oh, I'm gonna become like. I'm going to become the next ninja popular. It's not. There's not many games that are like that. But I'm not looking for those kind of games. I just want a game that's like, okay, I make a video. I talk about some stuff. And it's going to be like, boom, I'm farming. He sees tits. He buys them. True. Hey, man. Those are the best kind of play, uh, customers for uh, gacha games. Or just game or games in general. Sometimes I have better skills. That's rare. Yeah, it's true. But like, just make just make it SSRs, bro. Like it doesn't have to be at least. Just make them SSRs. Like just because they're SSRs doesn't mean they're like better. Than, like they're good. Like they're still gonna be shit most of the time. But like, if it's an SSR, people are still like gonna be happy about it. Like it's gonna. Oh, it's an SSR ship. Nice. Okay, this weapon fucking sucks, bro. Oh my god. Promelia. I just want a good game, bro. I just want a game where I can grind and be happy about it. But so we'll have to see. Oh my god, this guy smacked me for a 37, bro. What is this? Sunfire Splinters. Maybe to relax, maybe. Maybe my standpoint would change when I become a normie again, so we'll see. But I do truly do believe that like some games out there, what the fuck, they're in Void? Oh, those are definitely bots, there's no way. <laughs> Fucking Void farmers, bro, get out of here.
probably get shredded using Floyd anyways, right? It has to be. Are the bots going in? <laughs> I thought the same. Oh man, that's funny, dude. The bots are going in right now, dog. This is big money farm right now. That's enough uh, venting from me. I'm just going to chill now in the game. Y'all can talk some monkey yourselves though. Okay, how much I want to sell these for? They're going for, uh, I'm going to sell them at 220. Or 12 to, uh, 1220. That's 4.8 mil. Not bad. Okay, I gotta undercut this guy because I don't like this guy. This guy's a bitch! Alright, anyways, how's everyone doing? I hope y'all are doing good. But yeah, drama farming on YouTube has been really fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, the last four, three out of four videos I made, drama related. Easy farm, bro. I love farming. Speaking of FGO, well, farming FGO, oh. That's good. It's nice to farm games. I'm farming money right here too, so yeah, you can definitely relate. Been fun. FGO farming. Good. I'm always down for some good farming in. So many years I went full DJ 18 hours a day. Holy moly. The last time I did that was uh last epoch actually. I was doing like 10 hour grinds in the last epoch like a few weeks ago. Honestly, I would still be playing that game right now if uh if I if I didn't know if well yeah if I didn't know that characters reset after like eight weeks. So I was like, what the fuck am I doing right now? And there was Azure Lane. I know Tur is still farming, bro. That guy's a crazy guy. But yeah, um, old Azure Lane, fuck, you farm like 20 hours a day. Shit was crazy. Good times. I miss those times, actually. Now, it's make, now it makes me sad because of two things. One, Azure, like, old, new Azure Lane now is not old Azure Lane anymore. Like, that shit is not grindy at all compared to back then. The second thing is that most gotcha games nowadays are not grindy at all. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's like, yeah. Grind games are good in a sense, okay, I'm going to say this, and some people are going to disagree with me, and that's fine. Grind games are good because, okay, I'm being biased here. It's good because it brings in more content for content creators, and content creators are good for a game because they bring attraction to a community for that specific game. Now, I, I get it, like... 
content creator communities are a small portion of the games community as a whole. I get that. But they help though. Like they help a lot. Like if you look at RuneScape as an example or like World of Warcraft, each YouTuber or each streamer has like a community of their own, which is a percentage of the player base of the game, right? Like Asmin himself brings in like, I don't know, let's say like 10% of the WoW player base. Probably less than that, but yeah, let's just say 10%. If he goes away, there, there a good portion of the WoW players are still going to stick around, but a good portion of them are also going to leave as well too. Like, having grindy games just gives you more content as a YouTuber or a streamer or whatever. Which means you're gonna have better uh, reception for that specific game. Like, not, not grinding games are so fucking boring, dude. Like, in order for a game to be popular and not be grindy, it needs a very big social media following like Blue Archive or Genshin Impact. I get caught, caught by morale every time. Yep, same. Bye, Keeman. Have a good exam. I see a liquor. Have a good one, my man. Yeah, that's why I do too. Like, oh my god, god. <laughs> Striker, if you asked me how many times I've watched, like, Soda play uh, Lethal Company VODs or like him playing like Friday 13th or XQC, holy fuck, bro. Or like, how many times I've watched a fucking Pokemon fan game uh, playthrough on YouTube in the past like month? Holy shit. I watched so many, dude. Oh my god. Like, I need something to watch as I uh, listen to as I play like Le uh, Last Epoch or like RuneScape grinds. Holy shit. I watched so many hours of that stuff. Had Lord of the Rings on while farming. <laughs> oh, I can't do movies. I have to pay attention to movies. But like gameplays, talking and stuff, like I can do those. But movies I can't because I need to watch it. YouTube was dead. Yeah, it was dead. Like let's like let's plays are great like great videos to watch when you want to grind something in a video game. My lord, dude. It's fucking <laughs> people watch the weirdest things when they're like grinding in their games. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm one of them. Shit is hilarious. And I, I, I feel like I was getting brain rot from watching the same videos over and over and over again on like YouTube or, t or uh, yeah, on YouTube. Like actual brain rot, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> Shit was crazy, man. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna this one. I should do that next wave, honestly, but I don't think it's worth it. Wow, 19 seconds on that one. Oh my god, I'm zooming, dog. Holy. Nineteen seconds. Oh my lord. I'm fast as fuck, homie. Holy shit. Why is this guy hitting so hard, bro? Get off me. Okay, he's dead. Nice. All right, I didn't register. I don't know.
gonna be very fun reading YouTube comments. Like I was reading YouTube comments for my uh, Azure Premilia male character uh, video. I already see people like talk, like trash talking to me. I'm like, all right, well, I'm not gonna read that shit. I don't give a fuck. I didn't ban him though, but I should. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna be dead. Use the fuck. Oh my god, you swear to God. Jesus, fuck, dude. That's so fucking stupid. I can't even click those motherfuckers, dog. Holy shit, piss me off. This game's, like, this latency is so fucking bad. Even though it's Gojo, true. I love Gojo, what do you mean? Or someone undercuts you fucking dumb man. I hate this game. Dude, why is guy hitting so hard, bro? This is this shouldn't be allowed. Ban this shit right now. Dude, what what are these low hits, bro? Alright, 5,000 farms so far. That's actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I got about 4,000 in like an hour or so. Not bad. I was talking a lot of flipping though, so... Yeah. Oh my god, hit something for the love of god, bro. Thirty seconds, Jesus man, I'm slow as fuck right now. My sleep schedule is fucked too, man. Like I'm supposed to sleep in there like seven hours or so. My morning is like, oh my god, bro. I don't even know what the fuck happens when I go to sleep. Shit's crazy. Like I'm just late rolling around in bed trying to fix my sleep schedule. Shit is miserable. I blame last epoch, bro. All those, all those hours of, all those days of lost sleep because of last epoch was not worth it. The game is fun, but holy shit, it is not worth sacrificing sleep over. Okay, why the fuck are you still alive? song because I'm tired of listening to the same thing over and over again. Twitch anymore, man. So I was playing WoW again. Shit, don't play. I didn't need to watch anymore. Oh, 
Why did he hit a 39? Oh, what the fuck is this damage, man? Oh my god, fuck off. He really hit a 39 on me. Smack me hard. Is there any reward for a pre register? No, I don't think so. I just hope I get in, dude. Uh, get into the uh, beta. But, dude, I, I'll make so much content, bro. Like, I'm not even kidding you. So here's here's hoping I get into the uh, beta. Okay, I got an ugly we cut now. How much are uh, Torba? Not Torba. Watch some uh, pool streams, they're intervening in tank. You mean hot tub streams? Aren't those kind of, kind of dead now? Also, uh, most pool streamers aren't even that attractive. Too much makeup, too, uh, too fat. <laughs> Uh, okay, after, uh, let's call Azure Promelia as AP. Yeah, I'm calling it AP as of right now. It's easier to say. Azure Promelia is like... It doesn't roll off the tongue. Like, Azure Lane rolls off the tongue. Azure Promelia requires too much... Too much mouth movement. Like, that's why I say Genshin, not Genshin Impact. Like, Genshin is, it rolls off the tongue. Blue Archive, you say, uh, BA. Or whatever, right? Not 45 kg, true. This guy hit so hard, man. You have 100k K, KG people love her. Yuka? Yeah, but Yuka has anime face, bro. Like, anime face is god tier. Like, there's, like, realistically speaking, like, I'm, I'm, gonna, be un I'm gonna be as unbiased as possible. Depending on the artist, obviously, but anime anime face is so hard to beat as a real person because as a human being, a lot of people's faces have flaws to it, or or no makeup. But yeah, so it's very rare for a human being to be like facially attractive compared to like anime girls or anime guys. So yeah, so like, even even though like they meme her saying she's 100 kg or whatever, like she has anime face. And then, like, she didn't even look that bad for 100kg. Like, 100kg American 
female versus like Amer 100 kg as like an anime girl the world of difference right there what's your total uh, uh sunfire splinter as of right now Thirty four thousand six hundred. i sold a lot of it though i only have like six thousand on hand as of right now 100 kg american yeah exactly <laughs> Uh, someone uh, write a comment in your AP can be male. He said if this happens, uh, toxic shapers will cut, ruin everything. The guy's right. I don't, like again, I don't mind if they add male characters to Azure Promelia. I truly, truly don't because holy fuck, man. Hey, idiots. Monkeys, whatever the fuck you want to call yourselves. There are other fucking genders that wants to fucking play your fucking video game, bro. I'm not saying all females play, uh, I'm not saying like, all guys play Azure Lane, but holy fuck, man. Will it hurt for them to diversify their fucking genders that play their fucking game? Like, like when I look at my statistics on, on Azure Lane on YouTube, 99% are guys. Like, like what would it fucking kill them to have, like, okay, let's have, like, 20% females play our game now. Holy shit, bro. Like, and before you tell me, like, oh, but Blue Archive is all females and it has, like, girls playing the game. The game is fucking popular, dude. And like, and like the game, like if you want to, like the, the the girls that don't even play, they don't even play the game, bro. They, they some of them literally just wants to cosplay as the girls there. That's that's literally why. But yeah, like holy fuck, man! You can have popular games and have it be for both genders, not just fucking guys only. Holy shit! Blue Archive is just a rare example. Like actually, needs to be like that too, but like ch times have changed, bro. Girls play gacha games now too. For the love of God, add Gojo. Yeah, man. Add, like, I'm not. Even, I'm not even gonna lie. No gacha game up until now has had a Go Gojo lookalike. Just fucking do it. It's gonna work it well. Women's play. I mean, women's play, bro. It just opens up more variety to the game. Like, here, think of it this way, guys. Girl plays Azure Promelia because guy characters are in there. Girl girl likes Azure Promelia because of guy in there. She's very enticed about the game. Girl is somehow a, an artist, so she draws fan art for that game because she likes the game a lot. People like Kumar art, so they like the tweet or whatever. Boom, everyone wins right there because artist enjoys uh, whatever the fuck. Drawing character for Azure Promelia. Or, or if you want to speak of a Kumar language, Girl plays uh, Azure Promelia a lot, likes the game a lot, plays the game a lot, starts cosplaying as the characters in Azure Promelia. As as a guy that plays games on the internet, most of them are going to be like, oh my god, that's so fucking hot. I'm going to follow this girl, retweet her shit. Boom, there you go. Like, I'm going to tell you right now, most of the cosplayers that play Azure, that, most of the cosplayers that cosplay Azure Lane that's not from China, don't play the fucking game. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because in half, true. Do it. Cut them in half. This shit's hilarious, dude. I love Gojo. What do you mean? They're toxic shippers. I mean, gotcha games have like a lot of fucking toxic players. This shit is crazy. I guess when you, when you like, when you, was it 12? When you like devote most of your time to just a like, gotcha game because that's all you have in your life. Aside from working like other shit. And you have like guys in there. Yeah, I, I guess. I don't fucking. Bro, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what go through people's head when they want like girl, guy specific, whatever the fuck games or whatever the fuck. And then they're like, they're very, very adamant in what their beliefs are for a specific game. I don't know what goes through their head, honestly. I really don't. Like, I'm always mellow about everything. Like, okay, when I have my own character, go for it. Who gives a shit? And I, I, I never truly felt strong about most opinions that comes to a gacha game. Like, I just don't give a shit. Oh my god, I just got smacked for a 37, bro. Holy fuck. Oh my, this guy fucking hurts, man. Help. See Astro, have a good one, my man. 
don't know if I want to keep going higher. Maybe. Twenty K charge. Oh my god, hit me for a thirty-three, dude. Fuck off, I hate this fucker. Someone nerf this guy. I don't like this kid. Oh my god, bro, this guy just smacks me for a billion damage. Okay, I got a uh Torpa plate by nice. Turbo plate bodies are going for... Okay, not bad. Alright, let's go. G. Now I need by... I think chest plate is still... Yeah, it's like slightly. But like the side of my eye is like doomed right now. It's like it's like a swelling to it or something like that. I need more dog space, bro. Oh my god. Do I want to delete that? Sussy link. If it's a sussy link, I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete that. I don't trust it. Someone posted a sussy link in uh, Azure Lane chat. I had to delete it. I'm not going to. Um... Well, wait, I have two. Ah, oh, shit. Now I got to buy a third one. Ah, that's fine. It's not a big deal. But now I can resell it, right? No, no, no. It's fine. No, no, I'm, I'm probably going to resell it. I'll put it for like some ridiculous price. Like, let's do, um, I think like that. Oh, no. If you put it at, like that price, I don't lose money. All right, I'll sell one. I'll break the other one down. Like he lives in his basement. He looks like he never uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, the, I, mean, I the text something. I can't even see it. I'm not looking around right now. Um, I don't know what sells for. <laughs> I'm 
put it at that price to see if it sells. If it doesn't, then oh well, sucks to suck. Assuming that guy caps, I can make some big money right here. I'm gonna leave him some like low ball offers, see if I get anything big. Um, no, I already have some low ball offers in there, we're good. Sunfire Splintogs. If it goes back up, I'm good. I'm gonna make some big money. So far, I've made about 7 mil, which is very good. How much are bonds going for right now? If they drop below 8 mil again, I'm gonna buy another uh, 20. And whatever, prepare for two years. Two years of membership with just bonds. Oh, that's too good, man. That's how they get you. Just keep playing the game for like so many years. Sunfire Splintons. Oh my god, that guy hits the 34, man. Okay, dude. Okay, now we swap here. Oh, it, it gives the KO, nice. Uh, the people are copying my strats now, bro. Okay, dude. They're, they're seeing what I walk in with and now they're copying my strats. These, these idiots. Still no commissions, though. What the fuck? Oh, I got burnt oil today, right? Sunday. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, I forgot to... Oh, crap. I forgot to uh, dorm my Soyuz. Now she's gonna be upset. Damn it, man. Uh, no, she is dormed. What the fuck? That's well, probably because uh, she's what she would call it right now. Alright, well, we can't trade anymore. I guess I'm gonna do OS for a bit. That was fast. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> They're on Vanguard and coming. Wait, best place to get uh, I'll put on just anyone who does uh, who needs to use fire control radars, like. As of right now, there's not much content where you need a second one. It's only scenarios where you need to go like very, very fast for like timings or whatever. Uh, personally, I don't use a second. I'm probably not going to use a second one for unless like a specific content or whatever. But it's actually a really, really good. Um, ah, fuck. It's a really, really good um, auxiliary though. Like it's really, really good. But I think I'm gonna stick to the black shell because it has crit rate to it. Crit rate is very, very important because crit is a very powerful modifier in Azure Lane. And you don't wanna get rid of a uh, white shell either because it has hit and it has crit damage on it, which is also another big modifier. Like the, the double pencil modifier auxiliary as of right now is, is too powerful to like be, uh, to replace most of the time. You only wanna use fire control barriers when you wanna go first or like you need a, uh, or you need the hit because of a high level boss or whatever. But I guess a good example to use it is a place where you need a lot of hits, so like Arbiter fights. I remember I used double, uh, I use double control radars as well too, for, um, uh, for a uh, Arbiter Hermit fight. So 
Because it has like what, like, I don't even know, like 40, 50 hit on it is a lot. It has like the highest hit for an auxiliary for a battleship, which is very, very important for uh, going against high level stuff. Maybe today I'll go watch a drama. I haven't watched a drama in like a couple months now. I think it's time to watch dramas again. Got nothing else to fucking watch anyways. But the thing about watching dramas is that like I gotta pay attention. I can't just AFK watching dramas. 26 damage! What the fuck? How many I want to farm today? I'm at 7,000-ish right now. 7,000, 10,000 is like, what? 12 mil? That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, maybe I do like 10, 12 mil. I don't know. I don't know how much I want to do right now. This, bro, it has like a blood pop or, or vessel pop or something, dude. This shit hurts. Well, it doesn't hurt, but like it's annoying me in my left eye. Bro, I hit a- oh my- I'm not even gonna say anything. RSRS as well too. Yeah, I've been playing it for uh, a year now. Well, I had an account for like two years, but I got hacked. Like the the seven years I wasn't playing in between, but I came back uh, last year, and now I'm playing again now. So yeah, 
I shocked everyone. I was like, wow, you play Pokemon as well too, bro? That's crazy, I know. Like, I play Trails and stuff like that. I play a lot of, like, games. I was playing, like, last Epoch, like, last week as well too. So, yeah. I play everything. I play what interests me. If it's, like, if it's a grindy game, I'm probably gonna play it. Or I probably played it before. Uh, but quit back in 2020, uh, 2021. Good. Don't come back. Don't come back. You're gonna be stuck here forever. Any end game sites quit? Yeah. Now there's a there's a lot of end game content now. Yeah. Don't come back. Trust me. It's an addiction. Don't come back. You're better off not being here, my friend. It's a good game though. I'm just saying like, don't come back. At max total, what a gamer, dude. I'm maxed in 2025 at this rate. It's because whenever I wanna try like do skilling and stuff, I just want like, I'd rather just make money, dude. I'm like, I'd rather make GP than like, get my totals up. Looking forward to the Rodney meta review. Oh shoot, you're right. Oh God, you're right. I forgot about her. Yo, that's that's my video for uh, tomorrow. Thank you, Shizuka. Holy fuck, I forgot she came out. Oh shit! <laughs> Even though I had the the killer whatever on her, I forgot about she existed. Oh my god. Max gear thirty six pets. You're crazy, dude. I have like two pets right now. That shit is... my pet RNG is miserable. Max gear is great though. Feels nice. Oh, there was hunt pets. God, pet hunting is miserable, dude. I don't know how you guys do it. I I go dry. I'm like, all right, well, shit, fuck off. <laughs> oh my god! Please click the thing. Yeah, please. I'll never get to the point where I do, I'm doing like collection logs or pet stuff. Fuck that. That's too much work. I'll never get to that point. And I don't want to either. I'm happy where I'm currently at. Just making GP and like slowly work on maxing. Because I want to get the uh, cosmetic for the capes or whatever. God, why I got hit at 29 on me. No longer pass grinds, but didn't have someone bad dry streak. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I have a dry streak right now for a pet, but I'm not. I'm not going back for a while, so it doesn't really matter too much. I didn't. My PVM days are like pretty much dead now. I I used to do a lot. I did like a lot of PVMing for like the first three months or whatever to make GP. Uh, but then I started flipping, and I was like, all right, well, shit. I don't need to make. I don't need to PVM anymore. I just skill or whatever. Like once I got to that point where I had enough GP to, like, to start flipping, I don't really care about PVMing as much nowadays. I mean, killing bosses is cool and all, but like I don't have a motivation anymore. Compared to back then, I was like, alright, I want to I want to get a T-Bow or some shit, right? That's the motivation right there. But once you get it, it's like, alright, well, <laughs> now what? Sold everything. Good. Always sell everything because you can never trust hackers, bro. I remember when I quit the game, um... Uh... I came back, all my shit was gone. No, I, I, didn't, I didn't even come back. It was, um, I got an email, like, uh, in 2000 and, like, 17. Someone was trying to change my email. I was like, what the fuck? So I logged back in, all my shit was gone. I lost, like, 100 mil back in 2014-ish, which was a lot back then. So, yeah. I, I, did, I didn't play from, like, 2015 to, like, 2023. I came back last year, early March, because I had nothing to do on like any of my games. So I was like, alright, well, I'm just gonna play this game or whatever. And now I'm here, I, now I'm here one year later. That's fucking crazy, man. <laughs> That's too much RuneScape. 
But I didn't play much for like the last like six months though. Like I think my last big grind was like Desert Treasure 2 bosses. And that was pretty much it. At that point I just started doing like AFK skilling because I don't really want to play like this game as much nowadays. Like I just like when you get to the point where like you just print out GP without doing much in general, it's like what's the point of playing, right? If I start from like collection and shit. Like right now I'm making GP for no like, for no reason at all, because I don't need the money, but I like to give me gold, so I was like, alright, I'm still do it. Last time I was on my friends using that account, got all they had a breakdown and dropped all my untradables. Alright, yo, fuck that guy. I got the bitch. Mine was simply just like being idle, and I think I had an easy password, and like I got probably some breach website got my email or whatever, and like a password, and I was like, alright, well shit. So hopefully that never happens again. Like I, I am not looking forward to the day I quit the game because when I quit the game, I'm gonna. Oh, if someone hacks my account, they're gonna get so much shit out of it. It's gonna be crazy. Like, I'm gonna lose a lot and it's gonna be like detrimental. To sell the gold, I'm thinking about it. I may consider it. But I don't know what I'm quitting though, so yeah. I wanna max first, ideally, but it's gonna take me a long, long time to max, so. With when I get there first, yeah, it's like right now it's like ten cents for a mill. This shit is like, oof, it's like nothing right now, dude. <laughs> There's so many Venezuelan bots, bro. Like, there you cannot make money from this game anymore unless you have like trillions or like hundreds of billions. You can make like okay-ish money. Otherwise, there's like no fucking gold in this game anymore. Like back then, like bonds were like what? Probably like two, three mil a piece, right? They are they're nine mil right now. At one point eleven mil or twelve ten mil or twelve mil, sorry. Gold is so inflated now. Yeah. A bond right now is like nine point five mil. It dropped a bit. It, it used to be like it, like last week or like two weeks ago it was like twelve mil. But it dropped like two mil since then. Shit is fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> Back then I was like, oh nice, two, three mil bonds. Now it's like 10 mil, bro. Yeah, it's, it's way too expensive now. I can, I can afford it just fine, but like unless you're like a high-end PVMer, like you're not going to make money. You, you're pretty much better off just buying a yearly membership with real money and get a job. <laughs> don't don't try to buy a bond free to play money or whatever. Shit is fucking miserable. At least for most people, at least. I don't I don't spend money on my bonds. I just I I well I just buy bonds. I don't buy memberships though. Like 10 mil is nothing for me. I just like like right here. I, I bought like my membership expires in nine days. I have um what the fuck is it? Um I have 20 bonds right now. <laughs> so I can get a I can get a one year somewhere right here. Yeah, 20 bonds one year. I'm waiting for my membership to uh, expire in like a week and I'm gonna cash in on 20 bonds and get a year membership for like what? That 20 bonds is like what? 20? It cost me like 20, 210 mil? Something like that? So yeah. To some people that's like, oh my god, that's so much money. I think 200 mil I can make that. Well, it depends on how much I work, or like how often uh, I try to like actively flip. But if I'm like doing like casual flipping, it probably takes me like a, five days to make that much. Five or six days to make 200 mil, so it's not a big deal for me. For like a year membership, that's definitely worth it. But flipping, flipping days are going to end soon, though. Or at least I'm going to flip on like the weekends because I start working next week, so I don't have time to like actively check on the markets anymore. So all my competitors just lost me, therefore they can make free money. What? Well, I, I might try to flip passively, but it's not gonna it's not gonna do well. Like flipping in RuneScape requires you to like actively check the prices, so that shit is like, yeah. I'll do it passively though, but it's not gonna be as active nowadays. Next week. So I'm trying to print as much GP as of right now, cause I don't have time to make as much gold. 
once I start working again. Splinter says it right now. Why is it going? Oh, it's crashing right now, bro. How this guy died? <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of people joining in my Discord right now. It's crazy. A lot of people joined Discord, bro. Holy, I didn't even look back. That's a lot of new faces in my Discord right now. Oh my good gracious. I gotta do this plug in your Discord and people just join it, bro. Just that easy. I kinda wanna do some Slayer, but I'll probably wait. Time right now. I could probably slam in a quick uh blood fill task or whatever. I mean the thing slapped out. I might get, yeah, I might just do a slayer task real fast. Cause um shit the splinters are down right now. No 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 I'll buy one. I feel like buying two. Put these up for um, about 10 mil right there. If that sells, that's 10 mil right there. Nice. Oh yeah, I don't use these. I use slaughter bracelets. Use a bone necklace. Slot. Uh. I think that many is fine.
Oh, 232? That's a lot. Oh, shit. I should have brought more. Oh, I forgot to bring Alex. Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. I'll take it though. Someone actually shot to buy higher than that. It's crazy, dude. Bro, 71. Oh my god, dude. Dude, I am the drama farmer right now. Oh my god. 71 comments already on that video? You guys are crazy.
Mr. Azure Lane drama. As I mean, it's in my YouTube comments as of right now. But I was talking about it earlier, um, in the stream. It's too funny, man. I mean, I, I love it because I'm farming right now on YouTube. This shit is great. My YouTube algorithm right now is popping off. Too good, man. Love it. Absolute drama fiasco right now. Gotta check it out. Yeah, do it. It's funny. Oh, all right, got all my dailies done. A superior foe has appeared. Hey, what up, bro? Get your sweet ass over here. EXP for that. Holy my lord, that's a lot.
Dust battle staff. What the fuck? This shit is worth no money, dude.
Let me feel like joining. Yeah, it's because I plugged in my Discord. I knew this video was gonna be a little, uh, was, was gonna be a hot topic in discussions and comments. So I was like, I'm gonna plug in my Discord. I don't give a fuck. I keep my Discord alive now. So now, it's even better. See, the best time to plug in your Discord or social media is during a, uh, is during a, uh, what you would call it. A drama video, because then you just pin, you just pin come and be like, "Hey guys, join my Discord to discuss more, whatever." Boom, there you go, easy farm. That's why I did. The five head plays.
Will there be a Kron rerun? Yeah, probably like in another month or two. But yes, there will be. Damn, 59. Holy moly, dude. Oh, I need to go for a walk. Ugh. I'll do it after this.
Man, I had the flick, dude. It's taking forever. I think I'm just gonna flick and just let it stack up. If it kills me, I win, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I got a funny thing with 25k points. Was that on a uh, Twitch or whatever? Some guy called fishing. Pepe laugh. <laughs> Who?
Hey man, I gave him a chance to unban himself, but he's like, no, I'm not taking a selfie. Fuck that. I respect it. Remember how everyone burned all their points for like a, uh, what is it, a 19 hour stream or some shit? That's funny. And then the 12 hour one they did, I did like a, a 6 hour or some shit, scammed. Too funny dude, pep w. We did, yup. I scammed all you guys, y'all really thought I was gonna do back to back stream, good one dude. You know the best part? I think that's when my. So they give me points to someone? Oh yeah, then you guys fucked it up. I remember that part. Persona 5, yup. Yeah. Garbage game, bro. Y'all should have said like last. Not not last epoch. Fuck that. Not doing 24 at last epoch. I remember the last game I put in like many, many hours non-stop. I think Power World, but it was like 13 hours and then I got tired of it. Or not tired of it, but like I went to bed or some shit. Persona 5 sucks dick anyway, so I'm like... Why well, was I excited for this game again? <laughs> Garbage fucking game, bro. Terrible Persona game. Love Joker, man. Holy moly, my favorite porn star. Big hits. Not bad. Come on, big hits.
New Sunfire armor? I wish. How much are they right now? Still probably expensive as fuck. Helmet is 22. Armor is 20... 30 ish. The pants are like 40. Jesus fuck, dude. It's like 100 mil, 90 mil for the full set around there. Expensive as fuck, dude. I mean, still better than investing into Inquisitor, that's for sure. <laughs> Inquisitor, uh, I invested into it just to not use it, and it went up and just dropped down. Too funny, dude. Meanwhile, Inquisitor's mace still going up for some fucking reason, though. I guess it's okay at Coliseum, but fuck that. I already use a scythe. You're not gonna tell me if scythe is gonna. It's not best in slot there, because it is. I guess you're using Quizzer's Mace if you don't have a scythe. There's, that's the only way I can think of it. Like, why the fuck are you using Quizzer's Mace at, um... I fucking whatchamacallit. Coliseum. Oh my god, the crossbow still dropped. We should leave right now and just change my offer, but I'm so lazy. I think I might. I'm full inventory right now. Alright, yeah, let's fucking leave. Um, drop that, pick it up. Alright, I'm uh, let's leave. I'm gonna rebank. Okay, we gotta sell some stuff and get rid of lower some offers cuz pep W this shit is tanking Close that offer Tour of a body is still going down for some reason that is very interesting. We should cancel this offer. I'm gonna cancel it, yeah. It's not worth it. I'm gonna go down by 402, 889. These offers are okay, okay. I want to buy that new Sunfire armor though. Maybe I should Iron Man it. Just kidding. I kind of do want to start learning Coliseum though, just to like try to farm some money out of it. But then I'm gonna be mad if I don't get like, if I have a run where I'm like pushing, trying to get to the boss or whatever. Oh, it's gonna prayer potion. Oh, I should sell that too. Dust Battle Staff. How much do you expect I got from that task? 56k, bro. I love Blood Fills. They're great. I want them to give me Blood Fills all the time. That task is amazing. Oh, I sold my body. Nice. Uh, good job. Sold my body. Mm 
All right, I gotta go for a one hour cardio very soon. Well, not cardio, it's walking. But I gotta do that like after this. I should do it like right now, but. I got streaming. Oh, I got a task to do, and I'm finished streaming or whatever. And I walk for an hour, watch some. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna watch for an hour, bro. Oh my god. Like, like I got a treadmill so I can like watch stuff as I do my cardio, or whatever. But holy fuck, bro. There's nothing to watch. Oh my god. I just wanna watch another Pokemon Let's Play or something. Jesus. I have nothing to watch anymore on YouTube. We gotta get these guys out of the corner. Get out of there, boys. Double gains, true. Oh yeah, they're not chaining agility to like some dog shit now, right? I should do that. Uh, I usually do herb lore as I do it as I uh, on the treadmill. Where's the best place for me to grind agility right now? I'm 80. Is it is it Prif? It might be Prif, I think. But the thing about if, uh, doing herb lore is I could be at the G as well too. So. God, I fucking hate agility. It's such an ass to do. Like. Canifus or not Canifus, Sears was the best one because like if I'm well, I wasn't flipping back then, but if I were to flip, I'd just be like, all right, well I'm gonna teleport over there and teleport back, easy peasy, no problem. But if I gotta do like I gotta get a crystal, I gotta teleport, walk to the bank area or whatever, shit is miserable, dude. But I gotta do agility, fuck. I'm almost 81. I wanna get to like 85 right now. God, how the fuck did I do, like... Man, how did I get banned doing agility while alking when I first started playing again? Holy shit, pissed me off, bro. I hate agility, and I got banned for that shit. Fuck off, is it Jagex? So stupid, dude. Oh, you're alking while doing agility, bro? I'm banning your ass. Fuck you. It's not even profitable, bro. You make like what? Barely one mil an hour doing that shit. Not even one mil an hour while alking and doing agility, dude. This shit is garbage money. What's 69? Fat numbers right there. What's 70? Okay. Well, 71. All right, all right, all right. Big hits. God, this is the best task ever. I got 65k EXP from this. Superiors are amazing, dog. They get 4k EXP per kill. Oh my god, any day of the week, homie. Fat EXP drops. Give me superiors any day of the week, homie. They're amazing.
19 left. Such a good task. I wonder how fast it'd be with Venator Bow. That'd be even amazing. I gotta get to Max Melee first though before I do that. Oh, almost done. Sixty-five thousand EXP from this one task, bro. Absolutely insane. How am I not done yet? Oh my god, my thing keeps proccing, dude. It's still, oh, it's still proccing, man. Oh my god. It's, 
this my bracelet proc like three times in a row, bro. Ain't no way. End the task. Oh my god, praise the lord, it finally ended. 65,000 EXP from that. Holy, that's a lot. All right, what's my next task before I uh, log off for today? Fire Giants, I'll take it. I haven't done Fire Giants in forever, dog. Alright guys, I am done. I'm gonna go do my treadmill stuff, etc. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. I'm out of here.